short video. I'm approaching Mill Lane. As you can see, there's the mill there. Um, the old mill. I don't know if it doesn't look like it's turning or anything. But this is um, Porlock. I'm doing a walk on the other side this time. It says Hawkham Head, whatever that means. So I've just some beautiful cottages all the way up through here. And this is Mill Lane where I start the walk after leaving Parsons Lane. I've done a lot of walking, I'm just beginning to feel the effects actually of uh, of that walk. Right then, I'll turn off for a minute, because the other cameras, though I charged it last night, it said it's exhausted this morning. And yet I did have it on full charge. So it's decharged itself somehow. So I've got that on the emergency battery at the moment. Hope it charges up. So there might not be so many videos of this walk. Just bits and pieces. Right, I'm, I don't. I still don't know whether this is the right path. I'm going through this wood. Um, I'm, it is a path diagonally, but there is absolutely no signs. Okay, I've got no idea if I'm going the right way. There's no signs. It's um, there was a sign further up the hill, but I'm taking that it says go on, go right. I still don't know if I've come out at the right place. Right, folks. Looks like my instincts were right following this track. I've now come across a very rough track, which is footpath to West Porlock. Of course, I do reckon if I carry on there, that would take me up to that church. But it doesn't... It doesn't footpath to the toll road there, it says. Look. Right, I'm carrying on with the walk. Although if you follow on there, you get to the toll road anyway. Stop. I'm going to stop again. Hold on a minute. I'm going to do a little bit of videoing. I think, um, going back to the guides, I think what they need to do more is put some distances in. Because basically, when you read it, it just looks like you're on the, you're gonna, it's just going to flow, but it doesn't. You, they don't say, oh, it's going to take you a quarter of an hour to walk to the next point. There will be no markers. They don't tell you anything like that. So I, I'm a bit disgruntled today, to tell the truth. Um, I had to use instinct a lot to actually find that path back there, and 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 it's confusing. Those posts back there. One says the toll road, right? The other one says West Porlock. Now, where am I? Where are they taking me, for God's sake? You know, I mean, I don't feel like I've got out of Porlock yet. Oh, it does. It feels like I've walked miles. I've got to start doing some positive videoing because otherwise there's going to be nothing to share. <laughs> I might have to edit all this bit. And some videos are so bad I can't put them on. I'm going to keep them for myself. Anyway, apparently we're walking in this wood. Um, I can hear the birds singing. Going down the track. Sorry if it's a bit jumpy, I'm trying to read the guide at the same time. You are now walking in the parks. For hundreds of years, this woodland was managed as a private deer park. 
Red Deer Park. Today the Red Deer are still here but hunting has finished. There are over 2,800 Red Deer. Got to watch out for ticks, I think that's what got me then, wasn't it? If you brush past a fern, you pick up a tick. I thought I felt something, oh it's too bad now. I bloody can't help doing anything about it now. Right. Just trying to avoid the ferns so you don't brush past them. Those little ticks jump from them. They use them as springboards. I'd be very shocked if I don't get any bites actually. Especially after yesterday when I was walking down the hill through thick bracken. Right. There are over 2,800 red deer on Exmoor where they have existed since prehistoric times. Early morning or early evening are the best times to see them. These woods are full of wildlife and birds, grey squirrels being the most easily seen. There's a vast variety of birds here, wood pigeons, cuckoos, green woodpeckers, great and lesser spotted woodpeckers, grey wagtails, jays, crows, wrens, dunnocks, blackcaps, red starts, robins, blackbirds, thrushes, blue tits, great tits, cold tits and nut thatchers are all here. Right, so follow this path and then transverse to the hillside. Take the path signed West Porlock. So we're now going down here. We're actually on the track that I'm following. Aware that I'm going to have to climb back up there later. If I'd brought enough water, I could have just carried on up the top there, I think. If I brought enough water. Because if there were any deer, I've scared them off. I'm so noisy, I think. I ought to be quiet for a while and just do a little bit of video without talking. But this is real life. This is a person walking, discussing, um, reflecting. This small path descends in more or less straight line to eventually cross the toll road. This is where they need to put a distance in. It's not easy on the feet walking down here. Now my breathing's improved now since earlier. That's another good thing. Um, The seven kilometre toll road was built in 14, no, 1840 and the, with the maximum gradient of 1 in 14. Still serves as an alternative to Porlock Hill. This path goes downhill and then down a bank to a new track. Right, well we just do one bit at a time a minute. just get to one stage at a time. So it's, like I said, it's not giving me any idea. And there's no one else walking it. No, I don't think I'd walk back this way. There's a lot of hill involved this, on this particular walk. A lot of hill. Both sides. This looks pretty steep to go up, doesn't it? It's beautiful though, isn't it? Hello trees! Your calming influence is helping in the oxygen. Thank you very much, trees. I've been a bit stressed trying to follow. This is something, I mean, when I'm in my own territory, I don't even have to look at a map, you know? I mean, this is exploring. That's what we're doing, we're exploring. Oh look, a little post with a yellow arrow. So what? Look, little post. Hello, little post. Am I going the right way? <laughs> we should have had them throughout the flipping walk. Do you know what I mean? That's the first one I've seen like that. 
We should have had more of them. That's a funny looking fungi, isn't it, on there? Look. Yeah, that's the first post I've seen. Ah. So I get, I think there's lots of spider's webs I'm walking through as I go along. I mean, when you've got a stick, you can brush them all out of the way, see? Have a look round, see, just in case you see any deer. Right, over and out for now.